Tom number one on your speed dial right next to your weed dealer. Please call me. McGill! James McGill! I'm an attorney! It's showtime, folks. Better Call Saul is about transformation. Well, you know, like Breaking Bad was about a guy becoming another guy. Well, uh, in this case, it's about a fellow named Jimmy McGill becoming Saul Goodman. Hey, who needs that aggravation, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that Saul Goodman, when you first meet him in Breaking Bad, says, my name isn't Saul Goodman, it's James McGill. And there's a sense that there's a whole story to who he is outside of that office, like a different person. Because he basically says, I'm not this person, I'm, this is a facade. As opposed to the other characters in the show, where you were meeting who they actually were, you didn't ever actually get to meet who Saul Goodman actually was behind the scenes. And this is who he is behind the scenes. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Hamlin, and I won't have it! What can we do for you, Jimmy? Is this a comedy or is it a drama series? Well, I was saying that it's 85% drama, 15% comedy, but you know what? Now that I watch it, a lot of the drama in it is funny. <laughs> That's basically what it is, which was true of Breaking Bad, too, and a lot of it depended on how you're feeling when you're watching it. There are times you're watching Breaking Bad and it's very funny, beginning to end, and then there are times you're watching it and it couldn't be sadder and more dis distressing. But in this case, uh, I think it's probably, uh, I think I had the numbers wrong. I think it's probably, is it possible to be 80% drama and 40% comedy? Because a lot of the drama is funny. Like what he's sweating for, what he's dreaming of and struggling is funny to watch him struggle. Law offices of James McGill, how may I direct your call? The longer you stay here, the more explaining I have to do to him. And I bet if we were in church right now, I'd get a big amen.